Thanks, Bob. Welcome to another Cast Iron Ranger. I'm Dan Brooks, and here with me today is Kent Salazar, State Game Commissioner. Welcome. Thank you, Dan. It's a pleasure to be on your show. I love the Cast Iron Ranger. Well, what are you going to make for us today? Today we're going to make sheep herders bread, which is a, a, a big loaf of bread that we're going to cook out here in the cast to actually bake it out here on the coals and, and uh, process it for you so you can have some bread. Well, I think we're ready to get bacon. Can I move this out sure, of the way? Sure, that's, a, that's a, a good idea. Room. Give us a little bit more All room right. to work. Well, let's get this out of the way and let's start with our other stuff here. So first we're gonna get some, we're gonna get some water and, and pour it in the pan. We're gonna make our stars. So let's go All over right. here and, and get our water. We got some water on some coals over here. Got it heating up. And we're gonna put, we're gonna put three cups of, of water, but it can't be boiling like it is right now because it'll kill the yeast. Right. So we're gonna just... Woo, that's hot. So that's hot, that's right. Three cups? Three cups in there. Now, you use this for something else, don't you? Yeah, hot well, water. we're gonna come over here and we're gonna, one of the parts of the recipe is we're gonna need some, some lard. And I have some lard here in, a, in an old mason jar and we're just gonna stick that in there. Now, Kent, there's another reason we wanna have this water in here and having it cooling off just a little bit, isn't it? That's correct. Uh, this is gonna, we're gonna use this water for our starter and we're gonna use uh, active dry yeast, comes in these little packs. Um, and if we put it in this hot water, and this is my thermometer, <laughs> I thermometer. put my finger in there and I can't hold my finger down in that water too long, it's too hot, it'll kill the yeast. So we're melting, melting down the lard and we're cooling down the water at the same time, getting it ready yeah. for that yeast. All right, I like that. Your finger's a thermometer on the <laughs> Cast Iron Ranger. I like that. <laughs> All right. Well, well, how's that lard looking? It's looking pretty good. It's mostly melted out right now, so we could go ahead and, and it has to be cool as well. We don't want this to be too hot right. either. So I think that's good enough for now. We'll go ahead and we're going to open it up. And we're just going to take this lard and pour it in our large mixing bowl. There's a little lump in there, but we're not going to worry about that. We're going to bust it up a little bit. So we got the water down and I can hold my finger All in there. All right. It's good enough, okay? So now. So the next thing we're going to do is going to open these, these packs and you want to, maybe I'll let you do that. Yeah, well, let's see. If I came to the yeast opening school. All right. There you go. Mm-hmm. Does that need more than one? Yes, it use, needs, you're going to need two of those. Okay. And these are, these are little live critters. Yeah. And they're, uh, they're going to be our starter. They're going to produce the gas and everything that's going to make the bread rise. Now we're going to give them a little something to, something to so, eat, okay? So, all right. So they're in there and they're coming alive. Yeah. They're waking up. All right. Now we're going to take get some sugar and we're going to pour a quarter of a cup of sugar in there. Quarter of give a them cup. a little energy. And we're going to give them a little salt because we don't want to have them getting too much of that. Uh, two teaspoons of salt here, our little formula. We're just going to throw that. You're going to keep mixing there. Now we're going to take this lard. Oh. And we did double duty here, too. You can just scrape it on in there. All right. And you can just see. Let's just turn we'll this. We'll turn it around. See? But he's going to take the liquefied lard, and he's going to put it right back on into the, into the, the broth here. Where, right. And those little yeast are just being happy in there. It's still warm. Yeah. And there we're going. And this does a couple things. It's going to, it's going to grease up my pan as well so that when we're doing the dough, it's gonna be easier to clean the pan. So again, we're doing some double duty here. We're not wasting anything. We're getting most of the lard out there. And you like All my right. spatula yeah, out here like too. That. Yeah, Fingers a thermometer That's and his hands a spatula. Boy, can't beat that. <laughs> That's right. That's outdoor cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I got all those uh, going in there. You're gonna, I'm right. gonna have you go ahead and, and put it in here now, Dan. You're gonna pour it in the all big right. pan. All right. Let me just pour it in there. Still All got right. a little heat. And now we're gonna start adding some flour. All right, and all it looks like is just kind of a, like a watery soup. milk, yeah. A little soup. And we're gonna put in, start off with, you can stir now, keep stirring. Okay, keep stirring. Keep that blender going. <laughs> keep that mixer moving. All right. And we're gonna start off with four four cups of flour. Now the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to we're going to take this. Oops. I slung it everywhere. Remember our spatula now that right. we use with the lard, right? Right. We're going to work that spatula grease into our hands here. <laughs> now All we're right. going to take the dough. Here, let me hold that. And we're going to start working it around a little oh, bit yeah. with our hand. Mm-hmm. And we're, the grease on our hands help keep it from sticking to us too much. All right. That's a lot of work. Well, 
but you, you're forming it into a ball here in the thing. We're going to pick it up. You can see how elastic it yeah. is. Yeah. We're going to put it in this little pan where it's going to rest. We're going to throw it in there. Now, this was a greased pan. I greased it up. Once it's in there, I'm going to turn it over so it has grease on both sides All of that. Right. Again, pat it, form it nicely. And then we're going to put it to yeah, sleep. Yeah, let me just show. There we go. Nice. We're going to put right. it to sleep and let it rest so we can grow. Yeah. It's been about an hour. You can see we've cleaned up. And of course, the bread, you got to see this. Look how much that's risen in the pan. It's, it's probably almost double at this point yeah. like that. Yeah. So what's our next step, Kent? Well, now we're going to roll up our sleeves. Oh, roll up our sleeves. And we're going we're gonna to get busy. We're going to knead the dough. We had the Dutch oven over there, and we just warmed it up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And, and uh, we're going to grease that oven. If, you, if I move this to the side, if you put that Dutch Ooh, oven yeah. up here for a sec. Right. It shouldn't it's be warm. shouldn't be hot or anything. We're going to take it up, and we're going we're gonna to grease the, the Dutch oven up a little bit oh, with this yeah. lard. Mm-hmm. And it's not so hot that, that I can't do that, right, again, right. with those finger thermometers. That's right. And that's going to keep the bread from sticking on it. You take right. that lid uh -huh. and turn it up. I'm going to do the same thing with the lid. All right. We're going to make sure that that lid is, Show them how that looks. is coated we well. Go. Yeah, look at that. And evenly, because right. if this is done right, that bread's going to rise up, and it could touch the lid. And... Uh, we don't want it to stick or burn. That's right. We'll put right. that cover that back up. Now let's get get to work with our let's dough. Just get that out of the way. Now we're gonna we're gonna get this board here, and it, and I recommend either a a, a cloth or a wooden thing because if you put metal or All something right. else, we're gonna put lots of flour over this. We're gonna make a big All mess. All right. Here. Put it up. Now the fun part. All right. We're gonna punch that dough. Punch that dough. And we're going to knock it down. Knock it down. We're going to take it out of the pan now and put it all our knee, on our kneading board. All right. Now we get to work the flour all and knead right. it. Now we got this Dutch oven preheated right. and warmed up. Right. And you're going to plop that in the bottom of that pan there. Just like that. Form that out in the bottom of the pan. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. Now we're going to set the lid back on it. Now we're going to take it, put some coals on the top of All it, right. and set it down, and it's going to bake, taking about 50 minutes. All right. Let me get those coals. We've had these ready. Now, what do you think? About 12, maybe? About 12. That's a big, that's a big Dutch oven, so I would set 12. And we're going to set them all the way around the, the lid. The bigger the cast iron, the more coals you're going to need, but you want it to cook from the top down like an oven and heat it up and it'll transfer the heat down. So we don't need anything on the bottom where it'll, it'll burn that dough. Yeah. We'll check on this in about 40 minutes. We're gonna check on this. It should be rising up and turning golden brown. And then we'll keep it, after that, we can go ahead and check it every so often, make sure it gets that golden right. brown color. We're gonna tap it when it gets that, when it starts cooking and you should, should hear a hollow sound. And that's gonna tell us that loaf of bread is done. Ooh. Now, uh, we were lucky enough, Kent made us one earlier. I don't expect you all to stay with us all afternoon, so we made one earlier, and I just want to show you how that turned out. Ooh, mm. look at that. that Sheep herder's bread. Lifted that lid right up. That Let's did. pull it to the table and have a slice. Let's try some. Now, this is Ooh, already cooled down, so we can go ahead and... Let me... Oh, yeah, it's not bad. We can flip it out of there. Let's try it. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. That is. You go ahead and cut yourself a slice out of there. Ready? Yep. Ooh, look at that. And this goes good look to have that. a nice fresh bread with some stew or something. Oh, mm, yeah. Oh, boy. Let me just get that. Oh, look at that. Done all the way through. Look at that, would ya? Oh, look at that. I'm afraid you're the cook. I can't take the first piece. Go you're ahead. gonna have to. Okay. Mmm. That's great. Mmm. Mm. It's great. Mm-hmm.